Hello, I'm Adama Paris. We're in Berlin. We're here to see the creative scene and also to meet with creative people who do sustainable. Hi, I'm Adama Paris and I'm excited. We're in Berlin and it's sunny. And we want to thank the Gata Institute who brought us here. I'm here with two Senegalese designers, Masamba and Zainab. So we're here today to, uh, to meet this awesome designer, Rebirth Studio. So we're going to go inside and see what they do. Let's go. Hello. Hi, Liz. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hello, I'm Liz and I'm the founder of Rebirth Studios. We are a Berlin-based upcycling studio and we only were using materials from the industries like bed sheets and towels to create new fashion pieces. And this is Buki. <laughs> yeah. We're excited, we're excited and we want to learn. So show us what you guys sure. do. So this row is all made from old stuff. Yeah. For example, this hoodie is made oh, from old yeah. towels. So we do a lot of upcycling. So cool. Yes. Uh, or this dress from the tablecloth. This is cool. This is something I can Thank rock. You. Definitely. This is really cool. This is something you can wear in Ibiza. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so cool. I'm so glad. So you basically, like everything in here is upcycling, recycling, yeah, almost reuse. everything is upcycled. Mm -hmm. Also like denim pieces. And That's so uh, cool. So we are Berlin-based upcycling brand mm -hmm. uh, that focuses on only working with what there is. And we also focus on working with industries, also outside of the fashion industry, like, yes. you know, hotels throw away their bed sheets or yeah. towels. In the food industry, you have lots of, I don't know, all these aprons yes. or um, tablecloths. So we're trying to, yeah, like look into these different industries and then take their waste and create fashion out of it. Nice. So, so you never ever buy a fabric? No, not really. Oh my God. Wherever there is some textile waste, we create products out of it that have a second life. And I feel like hotel is something that is the most obvious because they do have like bed sheets and towels. You're right, actually. The tower that we use as, you know, yeah. can be when it's like old, a cleaning or yeah, like or a Yeah, or something else, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or a hoodie. Yeah, hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, oh, yeah. uh, like we say, the peignoir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So there's really a lot of um, ideas and options, and I feel like, especially if you look at other bigger fashion brands, you know, they have all these like returns or products that they don't sell. Mm -hmm. I think that's also market big scale to think, okay, someone has 2,000 black shirts they don't sell. Why don't we give it a new? I don't know, like take away a little bit or add a little bit and then you can sell it again. If it's, you know what I mean? Like, Listen, she's giving me ideas <laughs> <laughs> that we can implement in Senegal. Yes. Hey, we're here in our second location for the Berlin Fashion Hub and we're gonna see and talk to Magdalena and see what they doing in here. I'm excited. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Magdalena Schafrin. I'm the co-CEO of Forn, the Berlin Fashion Hub, and we are working on the sustainable transformation of the fashion and textile industry. So, Magdalena, tell us about you and about this beautiful space that you guys create. So Forn is a lively space for creative and corporates in order to push the transformation for sustainability and fashion industry. And we do this by providing a space and a platform uh, to emphasize collaboration between the bigger corporates and the smaller uh, creators. And this is actually funded and commissioned by the Senate of Berlin. Uh, so we try to empower collaboration within our community. You, the bigger corporate, the smaller, and the states. All together. All together. So we are How working with all the... that? <laughs> <laughs> talking, 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 talking. <laughs> meetings, <laughs> meetings, <laughs> meetings. <laughs> emails, emails, emails. <laughs> this is how you do it. 
<laughs> no, but I, I think it's important to actually bring together the corporate with the creators, I with the innovators, essential. and then have a safe space where they can actually come into like real cooperation. So we can do projects together. I like the Academy program uh, where we provide an upskilling program for younger creators and uh, young professionals. And this is actually funded by bigger corporates. Totally. The Academy program is financed by Zalando. This is our financing Zalando. portal. Oh. Yeah, uh -huh. we are working with the, like the bigger corporates Why and not? this is also for us, I think, um, important because we really want to transform the industry and we cool. can't transform the industry without the having outside. the bigger ones in, in the boat. So you need to, to work yes. together and collaborate. And, yes, and our approach is more like bringing them to the table to actually create something beautiful and, and nice. And space and, uh, for everybody like, to... Uh, get oh, wow. like sustainability thriving uh, in the organizations and hopefully then inspire the whole organization with the projects they are doing with us. Uh, so That's this is so like clever. our theory of change, so to say. Hey, it's Adama again. Second day, we're going to visit this beautiful and huge concept store called Plate. There's a bunch of designer here, so we're gonna go in and meet the CEO. She's gonna explain what's going on. Come in. Hi, Hi. welcome. <laughs> How are you? you? Thank you for Thanks having so us. Much. And it's so sunny. So yeah, we, like, you brought we, we brought the sun. Good. Africa brought the sun to That's Berlin. amazing. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Plateau. My name is Seville. I'm one of the co-founders of this beautiful place. And what we do here is we support Berlin-based designers with a store, with the agency, with a studio and events and awareness. We call us the place for fashion empowerment. Okay. Means um, supported by the German government. We have here three levels, mm -hmm. where we have a store, a studio, some offices, and hopefully in the future some working places mm -hmm. for designers as well. And in general, we try to support them in terms of sales, mm -hmm. in terms of knowledge. Talking about designer, I brought two of my designers from Senegal. Amazing. And let me introduce you, Happy my to have Samba. You. Hi, Sibir. And nice Zay Nabu. Hi. Lovely and they actually came with me with the support of the Goethe Institute because I'm running a program during the year uh, with uh, sustainability and uh, recycling and reusing. So they're the two best ones. So I had the idea to come and, uh, with them in Berlin and so they can experience shops like you, designers. It's amazing to have you here, I think, especially because Berlin is a really good example for reusage, yes. redesign and yes. upcycling. Yes. Like here in store we have uh, I think around about five or six designers who really just work on this topic. Yes. And what is really important for us is to get the topic upcycling more high level. Yes. You know, yes. because in the past upcycling was always like, yeah, oh, yeah. everybody this is, is you cutting. Need to yeah. Luxury, up, you know, to be appealing to to your customers. Yeah. Uh, you know, so we try always to have a sustainable matter yes. in every designer here inside. Good. The great opportunity we have here in Berlin is uh, that the government of Berlin they really recognized how many designers we have. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why this place, for example, mm -hmm. was founded. And our uh, main task is to create more awareness, yes. to get more support by the Berliners as well. Yeah. You know, to yeah. tell them like, hey, of course, you this can go your, to yeah, this is your any place, but this come is your and get, yeah, yeah. support them because it could be your daughter who's exactly. designing this, you know. I mean, the German government is doing a lot. It's getting better and better. I awesome. think it was good to create more pressure yes, on them so as well. Then, yeah. because and also to get some of them in, like implicate in your businesses so yeah. they know more yeah. what you're doing. Great job. I'm glad. Thank you for having you're me. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Come. So, oh Bia, so people, I know this girl, the Miss Africa Fashion in Berlin. <laughs> yes. Tell me about you. Okay, thank you very much for calling me like that. You uh, are, right? I am. Everybody I am. knows you. I went to see lots of creative people, they all know you. Oh, Bia, 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 Bia. <laughs> they said, Beatrice. <laughs> 
Hi, I'm Beatrice. I'm the founder of Fashion Africa Now, an international network that breaks with stereotypes and changes the narrative. So with Fashion Africa Now, we have an online magazine, a podcast, mm -hmm. and we do events. Okay. I connect fashion players mm -hmm. from Germany with African. creatives mm -hmm. on the African continent. Mm -hmm. I create networking events. Mm -hmm. I do workshops. I was in Senegal, mm -hmm. in Rwanda, Uganda. Awesome. I'm of Ugandan origin. Yeah. So I realized it's important to mm -hmm. have a platform mm -hmm. here in Germany mm -hmm. where also the diaspora mm -hmm. is visible. Mm -hmm. It's yes. about being visible, yes. it's about our narrative, yes. it's about breaking stereotypes in a way that the world sees we are proud of where we're coming from. Okay. Because there hasn't been a bridge yeah. where you can really see, okay, what's actually happening in the fashion mm -hmm. Africa cities or what is going on here? Yeah, we are a network now, mm -hmm. an international network, so cool. I would say. And uh, what, of course, also is one goal, mm -hmm. to link up the designers to produce also, to use manufacturers on the continent. Mm -hmm. So this is now what is increasing. Mm -hmm. This is now the interest. Like the fashion designers, they're like, Beatrice, how can we make this happen? Mm -hmm. How can you link us up? You know, because mm -hmm. they know if they want to feed into the ecosystem, mm -hmm. they need to produce on the continent. Okay. So fashion designer, Berlin, black fashion designer or any fashion designer? Um, I mean, for me, of course, I highlight black fashion designers, mm -hmm. but I also get requests from non-black fashion designers okay. who are also open. They are, they're mm. interested in, in, in really, yeah, producing on the continent because everyone is aware, okay, the way we are consuming fashion, mm -hmm. it can't take place anymore. Yes, yes. It's just too much. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's too much. So, and the solutions are mm -hmm. on the continent, okay. are with indigenous people. That's really remarkable. So now tell me about where we're going. You're taking yes. me where? Yes, exactly. I'm, I'm taking you to one of our really great designers, mm -hmm. Stella Owuzo. She's mm -hmm. a jewelry designer and she mm -hmm. has her showroom right here in Berlin. Wow. And this and space is This is beautiful. a beautiful space, right? And I heard about this also. It's a woman cooperative mm -hmm. or whatever. Exactly. Let's, let's go and have a yes. look okay yes. so you can show me exactly let's so go. let's see Stella are you here hey Hello. look at you nice to see you thank you, Stella. you for coming you're beautiful hi I'm Stella I'm the founder and designer of the jewelry brand in jewels we stand for sustainable jewelry with a holistic touch in it. Every piece has a special energy. And yeah, we work in Berlin Mitte. Currently we are producing in Germany, mainly here. Oh, wow. So my whole collection is yes. first of all sustainable, but also spiritual. I love that. Every jewelry piece has a certain energy inside. Oh. So wearing this jewelry, it will enhance your energies. So um, looking beautiful and feeling beautiful. Yes, exactly. Your chakras will be elevated. So with this, materials we're using yeah. they allow you know you to put certain energies inside so it's a long process i learned Amazing. it from my mom and also you know so it's a whole Amazing. family history and yeah oh, it's, wow. it's really it's, it's really amazing i'm very happy it's so to cool. be able to do that so so this, this is, is your like station a typical jewelry bench it's very traditional yeah. i mean i don't even need electricity because i work That's with gas so cool. Oh, and you just blow it. So this is the ring. It's it's from my first collection. It's yeah. called Ama, the collection. Ama from my Ghana yes, name. Yes, Ama, you're from um, Saturday Origins. born. And um, yeah, so this, the idea is the drums, you know, the drum beat. It's the, it's the hammered structure. So yeah, it has a lot of story behind it. Once it's finished, we'll also add diamonds in here. So I have it oh. in gold, 18 karat gold and in awesome. silver. Love so it. the sustainability part of mm -hmm. uh, my business is using the recycled gold and silver I that's a that. major part because the gold mining is really really bad for the nature i know but for here i use recycled gold it means awesome. like old gold pieces so my customers can bring it oh and i can bring you my can bring chain and gold. have a nice yes and then i, I will like you get it. you know so i'm actually this month i'm having a home month an event where customers can bring it and then we recycle it awesome. and they can even have you know do yes their own do your thing. thing so show so, me some couple of them so this here for example are our wedding rings 
Wow. And one of my really love projects is the Pure Love Collection. Right now I'm wearing my silver, but otherwise I always have those the gold 24 one. karat gold rings on. Listen, thank you so much for having us. I love your work. Thank you so much for Merci. coming by. <laughs> have a great time in thank Berlin. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hi, this is Adama. I'm with Zainab and Masamba. And today we're gonna visit this beautiful shop and, and uh, beautiful uh, young lady in here in Paris. So let's check it out. Hello. Hello. Hi, how are Hi. you? I'm Jana, the fashion designer of Empari. We have a social sustainable brand where we create all our prints by ourselves and um, we produce here in Berlin. Masamba. Nice to meet you. Zena. Yana. Yeah, that's my brand, that's my store, and we also work here in the back. Yes. Um, that's our atelier. Mm -hmm. And everything you see here is made out of recycled PET materials. Wow. And um, I also draw and design the prints by myself. And awesome. Like some, this one you're wearing? Yes, yeah, awesome. this, this is from the last collection awesome. on top. And I want to try to bring back colors to the streets yeah. and yeah, more happiness yeah. and be a bit vibrant. Yeah. I, I see that. Show me some pieces. Yeah, this is from an old collection mm -hmm. and everything you see in here is my cutting waste. So awesome. I also reuse all my waste that I produce. Awesome. Um, for example, also in this bag. On the outside you see this is a, a twisted strap from um, our cutting waste yeah. and inside as well. All the threads, everything mm -hmm. comes back into pieces. Yeah, this is um, oh, it called this is the, nice, yeah, it called the Earth Print. Mm -hmm. um, I made it out of acrylic, mm -hmm. and then I draw out of acrylic. O yes, and then I draw over it in digital. Awesome. So I scan the acrylic. I also need my hands before yeah, I start something. Of course, you know, um, it's my first inspiration is touch fabric yes. and really move with colors yeah. and and um, on this coat you see yes. I wave I weave yes, also my all the fabric the waste fabric my waste fabric mm -hmm. yeah that is so cool and how about this I mean those are the prints you wear this is uh, the last collection on cop mm -hmm. and on cop for me means like disconnected that we humans are more disconnected from the earth from the environment and we should go back um, to the earth, to our surroundings, connect again to other human beings, but also Aww. other beings, and clean the earth and so use this sweet. trash to create. What something. I like about you, is it's like you have a storytelling. Yeah, I you think know, this is what we all have should it, yeah. have, like a concept, but yes, like but something you... circular, mm -hmm. so that always you give something back yes. and your brand really has an impact. Yeah. So yeah. cool. Thank you for having me. Thank you yeah. for coming. So cool. And you look beautiful. Right? You too. <laughs> <laughs> Berlin. Hey, it's Adam Apari. Masamba. Zena. We're here in front of the University Bison there. We're gonna go check it out and see what they do. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Hi. Adama. Hi, Feda. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hello, we are Janus, Esther, and Feda. We are design researchers at the Weizen Say Art School, and we're researching in sustainable materials. Good. You good? Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah. So, um, please tell us what you do. Um, so, my name is Vera, mm -hmm. and I work under the name Urban Fibers. Urban fiber. And um, we try to rescue uh, old garments from the local market. So, we cut mostly Jersey cotton t shirts. Yes. So, this is like an example mm -hmm. into very fine, thin yarns. Oh, wow. But how do you make it round? We have a special technique for this. Oh, it's, <laughs> is it? Do you use. Uh, a tool to just like uh, yeah. to put it round. No, we cut, cut it. Yeah, we cut the t-shirts mm -hmm. in small fine stripes. Yes, and then we actually just pull on it and stretch oh. it. Oh, so interesting. Yeah. Mostly, if you recycle t-shirts, it's mm -hmm. a whole process, yeah. like with shredding the fibers, yes. make them fine. Yeah. But we just use the t-shirt as it is, so we don't need to just recolor them. The t-shirts, we don't so have cool. to just over dye the colors. Um, so cool. We don't need to have difficult processes. That's um, so cool. So we make braidings, ropes. Yes. 
um, weaving. Yes, weaving. And knitting. Knitting. Or like it's a special knitting technique. Is it, is it a machine or is it handmade? Yeah, no, we use uh, digital manufacturing. Okay. So we use knitting machines in yes. the industry. Yes. Because if we do this in the industry, yeah. it means that we can make way higher quality yes. textiles, and a lot but of still it. recycled. Exactly. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that is so yeah. cool. So this textile is also knitting. Mm -hmm. So the yarn is in between. Mm -hmm. You can also feel it, like, um, and we could imagine to create um, as well fashion with it. Yes. So totally. maybe like pullovers. Yes. Or vests, sweaters. Yeah, sweaters, mm -hmm. exactly. We tried different ways. So it's really light or yes. very dense. Oh, yes. You have density, different density. Different density. So, and this is like um, yeah, a tryout with colors, different Sasa colors. Really that we use. So awesome. And we still use all the colors as they are. So we just really find yes. a way to how we can combine combinations. So that's that like. So great. Yeah. Thank amazing. you so much. Yes, for the explanation, you. this is so great. This is so impressive, really. Huh? <laughs> it is so lovely. Hey, hi, hey, how are you? Hi. I'm Adama. Yanis, nice to meet you. Masamba. Yanis, very nice to meet you. Zainab. Yanis, nice to meet so you. So hi, Yanis. We're here to know about what you're doing, to learn more about your technique and your project. Can you? Yeah, so uh, I work together with uh, Esther, my colleague, mm -hmm. on Lignolite, a three-year research project wow. um, for Weissensee Kunsthochschule Berlin. Mm -hmm. And what we do is yes, um, we research a material that is a waste stream of the paper industry. So when you cut wood, yeah. wood consists mainly yes. of two ingredients mm -hmm. and they only use one of them, cellulose, for, to make paper. And this is what is left over. So in the whole world, wherever yeah. they make paper, this is left over. And they burn it. Yes. And when they burn it, all of the carbon that the tree took out of the air yeah. goes back into the atmosphere. Yeah. And we, then we have global warming. Yes. Um, so what we are trying to do is to use this mm -hmm. for applications in furniture. So we yes. make hard materials yes. like boards, but we also, um, and that's what we want to show you, yeah. we also make soft materials, kind of Out like leather-like materials. Wow. That, so these are very early prototypes, mm -hmm. but um, we are making materials that are kind of um, a bit leathery and a bit yes. bendy. It looks like leather. Instead of a leather boot, we're going to make a lignin shoe oh, wow. out of all, so, out of all the shoes yeah. out of lignin exactly lignin is what the material, the material is, is called, called. Exactly. so this was also the very early like yeah, prototype stage, it's just yeah. like a image yeah 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 um, but we already tried a little bit of the stitches and yeah. the stitching and stuff like this and we mix the lignin in this with um, wood fibers that are left over from mm. carpentry shops mm. and stuff like this. So we kind of like put the tree back together. Cooking you it. Know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Cooking it. Um, and the other thing that we do is um, we made coatings with this. So for um, organic textiles mm -hmm. so that make it waterproof. Are, yeah. So yeah, this is a, um, amazing. Yeah, so, and, and for us it's really important we are trying to make a lot of different materials, so textile materials, but we are also making foams and um, hard like board materials. So well done. This is amazing, amazing, amazing technique and amazing thought behind it. And so good for the planet. So. Thank you so yeah, much. Thanks for, for having us. Thank you. Hey, we are at the University of Weizenze. Did I say it correct? Yes. Yes, Weizenze, and we are with this beautiful people who show that they 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 work and we learned so much and it was amazing and I'm amazed by the fact that you have an university with just art. It's amazing. So thank you for having us and see you maybe in Senegal. Yes. Are you gonna talk when you come to Dakar? Yes. Yes. Bye. <laughs>